Hey guys, um, y'all might kind of think this is kind of backwards, but, um, some people need a visualization of things to understand, uh, that, um, heaven and hell are real, but, I had, um, five attempts in a week, and, uh, I could have wound up in hell, but God showed, a true mercy and grace, we thank God, um, that's not even sufficient, but I thought about it, the only thing that would be sufficient would be to praise God's name any time that he calls for it. Um, Which there's tons of things that we would do in heaven that I don't know it by heart, but I know there's at least one thing. Like um, being with family or something like that. So it's not like um, God's like a dictator at all, because he's not. And even in heaven we have uh, free will. Um, and so... Um, But the only way that we can ever thank God is to thank Him eternally. And that's what eternally grateful means. And um, watching Hellraiser kind of made me, I mean, Hellraiser is a novel. It's not like a demon, devil thing or whatever. But um, as humans, we do our best to conceptualize heaven and hell and God and the devil and whether it's a comedy or horror or whatever or a book or whatever it is there's nothing innocent in the world except for babies or slash kids or not even that I don't like using those words children the bible the kids isn't a word in the bible it's, I looked it up we made that word up uh so I like to speak Bible, so children. The only thing innocent in the world is children and the animals. And they're there to remind us that we need to keep that childlike faith and also to keep uh, vigilant and doing right by each other um, and just being less psychotic when it comes to like holding grudges and just and just playing the devil's game and winning, winning devil's prizes because don't think that just like it's gangs or serial people or whatever that um, are the ones that are suffering the wages of sin. It's, it's all of us. Um, anytime that we're, we're let me turn this way. Anytime that we're coming at, that we're getting separated from God because of hate and I think that God put well God is God it's, God didn't like name himself God is God it's like if you think about stuff like that which I do obviously uh, it doesn't matter uh, it doesn't matter why God is God and God does what he does because that's what he does and we're not the question having wrestling with God like Solomon and King David and King David is a man after God's own heart and he got caught slipping with old girl on the bathtub roof thing and all that and took another man's wife and then took out Oh, dude, who was like a high ranking officer and got him uh, hammered and then put him on the battlefield and said, Hey, when he gets uh, in trouble, don't help him. And they, they took him out. And then he took old girl's, uh, uh oh, dude's girl, straight up. So, what, for my men out there, what y'all think? Come on now. If a man into God's own heart, can't get it right 
we all screwed by default. Because God don't be picking just nobody for no reason. Um, but generally speaking, I don't know about that Lazarus dude. I don't know if he's in hell or not, or Bathsheba or whatever, but I think she's the one that was told by the angel to not look back. Then she disobeyed God, and I think she got turned to sand or salt or I don't know. I don't know where them people are, but I know they disobeyed God, and they, uh, I don't know the outcome. But I'm on like 30% into the Bible, maybe 40%, but I haven't read it verbatim, which I'm going to get back on. Uh, I'm going to get back reading tonight, but i kind of been in like a coma of the last, like if you watch my stream and you see me just lay down and I'm like passed out for like however long, my body's just totally like dead. Like it's, it just ain't got no, it ain't got no, no get up in it. Um, that's why every time I'm doing something, I'm always doing something when I'm doing something because I don't know how much time I'm going to have in between um, the ebbs and flows of my energy. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make a list of all the health problems I have so y'all can see how severe this really is. Um, Cause seeing is believing. Uh, but please don't wait to see hell while you got a chance to get to heaven, so. I don't know about the unforgivable sin, but I know that's a worry for a lot of people, but someone explained it, and he explains it in, like, dummy terms, so well, I don't think that God sends anybody to hell. I think we send ourselves to hell because we don't accept Jesus, and we're not saved and born again, and that's the only way to avoid hell is to accept Jesus. That, that's 100% not debatable, 100% fact, and the unforgivable sin says to do the will of my Father, and the will of the Father is to have a relationship with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, repent, be born again, believe in the work on the cross, and that Jesus is our Savior, and the Son of God, and live a perfect life, and so forth, um, and um, those that call my name shall be saved. I'm kind of paraphrasing. I know this stuff's in here somewhere, but I don't know where to look for all this stuff, and I don't know how to Google it, so I'm not trying to spread nothing false, but if you know, you know, and if you don't know, ask somebody, but don't ask me, because I'm trying to do the best I can, but uh, there, there's no way to get to heaven if you don't accept Jesus, and if you die in your sin, the wages of sin is death, and to die is to perish. And if you perish, that means you do go to hell because you're not saved. Um, but for those of us that are saved, praise God, um, we don't perish. We just go to heaven, and we get our glorified body, heavenly body. Um, and the reason that you have to accept Jesus, I don't like using that word have to, but in this case it it's factual is because no sin can exist in heaven in God's presence nothing unclean or dark or anything um, and the only way Jesus took on the sins of the world he went to hell conquered hell and all that and so no disrespect God when I say all that I'm just trying to not make this video too long because I'm trying to get to the point but that's why um, we have to accept Jesus because otherwise you're not going to be in a good place. I just want to clarify, when I'm talking about someone going to heaven or hell, I'm only talking about for those that don't accept Jesus. I'm not saying you're going anywhere. The choice is yours. Because uh, God knows his people and the devil knows his people. Um, and the reason I don't edit my videos or nothing unless it's like a picture like a videos of my cats or something or something like that is because I want y'all to see my walk with God in real time and when I'm doing good I'm doing good when I'm doing bad I'm doing bad 
I don't even use the Lord's name in vain about probably a hundred times in the past week because I've been so stressed out, but God's forcing me to learn that, not even, well not learn, I already know, but to, to accept that um, he's got it worked out, but I keep trying to force the issue and do it like a, a like a self-planned way or whatever instead of God's way and so that's something I'm working on but it comes from always being in survival mode in extreme conditions like life and life and death stuff and so uh, any, anyone could understand the plight there so uh, six likes and one new follower on Instagram appreciate that I'm primarily posting just on Facebook right now. I mean on YouTube. But then I'm just on Twitch. So if you really the best place to get to me if you want to talk to me is on Twitch. And if you come in, I can't I'm learn I'm still trying to figure out how to do my user interface. Like I can't see my chat and my viewer thing on on Twitch because I'm using OBS and the Twitch studio and had it all up there for me and I'm still new to all this and so I got the primary stuff with uh with the OBS going, but the, the ladder I'm still working on, so, and then also, just in general on streaming stuff, people come in and they go, and then you're talking to somebody, and then they're gone, it's like you're talking to nobody, which that gets on my, my nerves, because it's like, it's pretty rude, like, if you're going to come in, if you're just looking randomly, or just whatever, that's fine, or it might be like a kid or something, but if you're coming in, and you're saying, hey, you want to give somebody, like, you know, a minute or two to reply, especially if you see they're doing something like in a, in a raid or rated PvP or, or type talking to somebody or whatever. Um, then, then obviously you don't have no interest in actually getting to interact with the person because you don't you can't even wait a minute or two. Um, but I, I I reply to everybody, I talk to everybody, so um, that's why I was acknowledging those people that subscribe. Uh, but um, so back to that. So the the Cenobites was reminding me of like the outcome if you are just don't accept the Lord Jesus Christ at any point in time. But when it comes to self removal of oneself. The reason that um, I, I don't know what it says about that with, with how God views that I know for a fact from personal experience it's not it's not the answer and it's not um, it's just not the answer I know that for 100% fact but um My point is, is you, you think it's a, it's a very clever deception, but you think it's a, the answer to not being, oh, there it was, that's what it was. You think it's the answer to not having pain no more and it just being over, but like Hellraiser, or Pinhead, 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 Pinhead says, or Hellraiser, whatever you call him, um, he's the leader of the Cenobites. So kind of like one of the, the one of uh, Lucifer's like, top lieutenants or whatever but and his goal is basically to punish people for conjuring up that box thing and like don't be messing with stuff that you don't know what the heck it's about it ends bad every time it's like hanging out with people that you don't really know like what they're into and the next thing you know like you're catching a case or something like that or whatever or they're forcing you to do stuff you don't want to do. Um, like the Junko Furuta. Don't look that up, please. Like, just don't do it. I'm not going to tell you what it's about. Just don't look it up. But I believe that some of them boys that were in that mess. Um, that's not even, there's not even a word for what they, never mind. I don't want to talk about it. It, it doesn't serve any, any purpose but to glorify the devil so I'm not going to talk about it but any further 
but I believe some of those boys that were a part of that um, demon work did not want to participate at a point or at all. And then they were they literally were forced to do it. And that's what I mean. So, uh, yeah, I would just really encourage y'all to, um, whether it's a Ouija board or whatever, I would en really encourage y'all to not get caught up in some stuff that you don't know what the heck it's about. Because it's not funny, it's, it literally serves, it's totally pointless, all it's going to do is hurt you. So, there's a movie called Ouija Experiment I watched, I got to finish watching the last part of it, I fell asleep last night. But it's five different people that they got on the Ouija board together, and each one of them had like a different bad outcome, and that's what I mean. Um, the only spirit we're supposed to talk to is the Holy Spirit, point blank period. I don't care what your mama say, your daddy say, I don't care what nobody say. That's what God says. Don't convene with witches, warlocks, uh, um, seers, or mages. I don't know if it's mages or, or um, psychics or sightseers or whatever. Because they're deceiving you. Which, it makes me think, with all the false gods and stuff, I, I think I think there's a way that those all could be technically real, but just demons and the devil and stuff. Take like the the Lucifer came to, or an angel came. Lucifer or an angel came to. Uh, what well, an angel? A fallen angel, rather. Okay, which is a demon, came to Joseph Smith, the that one Mormon guy, guy or whatever. I think the false religion. It doesn't matter which one it is. Um, and. Christians is Christ. Our salvation is in his name's sake. Jesus is his name in Christ or the Christ. Or Christ is his title. I don't know if it's Christ or the Christ or both. I know it's the, one of, the first one is Christ that I know. So if you think about it like that, then there you go. That's just another confirmation. It makes it real simple. Um, so he got deceived. Now I don't, I don't like. I don't want to say this, but I feel like I need to. I don't know where I, I heard this from, or if it's. I think there's somebody that had a really good hell testimony, and they said that one of his daughters was in hell with him, Joseph Smith. Only time I'm talking about somebody being in hell, not not necessarily on a. A, a legitimate like you test the spirits testimony of heaven and hell yeah those are, are real some of them aren't but I feel like theirs was real um, but he said that the daughter was like why did you lie to me daddy and she's there with him so it's not just about you you need to think about your kids man like for real man woman you gotta think about your kids because it's not you can't say you love love your kids and you let them end up in hell. If that's what you do, then you're trash. You, you shouldn't even have had a kid in the first place and that type of stuff I'm talking about. People don't be thinking about this stuff and then somebody is gone and they're like, oh, I wonder where, you shouldn't have to wonder where they're at. My, my Spanish, the difference between uh, my English church, American church and my Spanish church primarily is that there's a, a whole lot more kids there if there's a 400 adults, there's a, there's like 100 kids or whatever, I, you know, for example. The numbers vary, but there's still like over 60 kids at a time. And so one of my, my interpreter um, brothers in Christ told me, he said, yeah, we start them early in church. So you do that, they're going to be with the Spirit. Now, if they, if they stray away from there and they start doing non-godly things and that's on them but you got to give them a chance man give give your kids a chance please y'all because i ain't had no chance but i had god but the point is of the video is that the reason that um removing yourself is an issue 
is because you're trusting in the devil to give you the solution to the pain and all that and the suffering no matter what it is because either you're going to let Jesus take the burden or you're going to let the devil take the burden um, and so you're basically putting your faith in the devil versus you're putting your faith in God and that's why self-removal is a problem from a Christian standpoint that's my that's what I believe and I'm talking about from personal experience and if there's any I mean if I'm saying something and there ain't no scripture then back it to back it up then it don't matter what I say uh, ignore it and you can correct me but I'm not trying to um, say anything uh, wrong I'm just saying the best I can put it from where I'm at in my Bible and then where I'm at from life experience I can tell you that but I want to always match it up with with, um, with Bible so what's the matter you know are you hungry oh you got a birthday coming up July 11 let me check the date July 11th is it birthday, baby? Let me see. Uh-oh, Eno. Uh-oh, Eno. We got a birthday. Hey, man. And on baby. My son made it to nine years old. Well, not yet, but soon. You know, baby. He want him daddy. What's up, Eno? Okay. You know daddy trying to get us to, together, buddy. Come on. Birthday, you know. I think he's a hungry baby. Come on. Somebody donated $115 so we can get you some good food. I didn't see, I didn't realize, but my electric bill was due on the 15th and I didn't know I had a disconnection notice. So it's like two months has been past due. But I did a, a payment plan until the 29th. But I'm still going to buy their, their food is like a $43 and their litter is like $20 for a 40 pound thing so I'm going to get their food and litter first um, no matter what's going on I always get their stuff first period so that's that's it we got to sacrifice for our babies My phone bill did some weird stuff. See, what I do is, is I pay my bill, and then I put, because it has to be on auto pay, so I put a card that's like not even active, or not even a balance, like a card that's active or whatever, or has a balance, because it hasn't expired yet, but it's not active in my bank. I only have one debit card. I don't have a, I don't have a credit card. But uh, I put it on there, and instead of trying to process the payment, it was due on the first, I think, or the second. And then I checked the balance, and it like it doesn't come up. It's just it doesn't say it's past due twenty nine dollars, and it doesn't say that it's paid, but it's like blank. So I think it like kind of jerry rigged the system. Which hey, my phone's still on, so I'm on my Wi Fi. But like you know, for example, like with my new, I have a landlady Nicole that is on site here. And then Mara is the Mirage property. She takes over the payments. So it's two different people. Look at this, y'all. I was trying to find the remote and I still can't find it. Um, but like if, if Mara was trying to reach me, she's not gonna know that I have a, she's gonna think my phone's off or I'm not picking up, right? But she, she doesn't know what she doesn't know and that's why it's like, I'm always, cussing and this and that because it's like if one thing one thing can go bad and another thing and certain things need to be a certain way and but the whole point about this y'all is that I worked my whole life and I got in a wreck ruined my life I got a brain disease 
Had six brain surgeries in eight years. That's the scar. The first one, the craniotomy. And then, and then I met this one dude at the gas station when I worked in teleperformance for UA, USAA. Shout out to all my veterans. Love y'all. I would have started when I was 18 as a Marine, but I, I had too much stuff, too much illness, mental and physical, obviously, and spiritual. But anyway, um, um, hold on, I'm trying to, I haven't had my lamictal. I take vibrant and lamictal for my bipolar. And I've had so much panic attacks and all this and night terrors that I wanted to take my clonidine, but if I even if I take a small one, like a fourth of one, it'll put me out for like two days. So I basically have to like just have anxiety and panic. So any Christian that has real bad abuse and PT I have a PTSD. And all these other things. I thought I had PTSD, but I looked at the thing. Somebody I was talking to mentioned APTSD. If I ever scratch on this side, my bad side is because I have to. But I'm getting my Abraham, Abe Lincoln going on. What's going on with this over here, y'all? But, um... I looked it up. Because if I don't know something, I look it up so I can know. I love knowledge. I'm a truth seeker so I can be a truth speaker. Carnegie is patented, copyrighted, whatever. Not really, maybe. I'll put that on a shirt. But that's why I've always been so drawn to God is because I love the truth. And if you love the truth, you love Jesus. Because eventually the Jesus is going to lead you to the truth. Oh, here we go. I think you got it. So I'm going to tell you all the best part about knowing the moment you realize God is real and you read that one verse or you have that one experience or whatever, the epiphany or the revelation or the total recall, whatever you want to call it. But once you consciously, spiritually wake up, not being woke, get up out of that stupid world stuff, that's the devil. Being woke, that's ignorant. It's totally ignorant. It's not funny. It's not cute. It's dumb. Like, and I'm gonna try to like watch what I say so I can get more views on stuff. But I don't know if I'm gonna go back and delete all my videos that are whatever, like when Mortal Kombat with fatalities with the blood and stuff. But if it's gonna affect my monetization, but I think you gotta have like a thousand subs or something. Mm. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Even though I'm in a dire situation on a daily basis, y'all see, I'm not doing. No trend stuff, really, at all. Very rarely. Or whatever that other people do to get subscribers. Because I want to have a relationship with all y'all. Anybody I see, I want to have a relationship with. Because that's somebody you can preach to. And I basically, I'm just a walking preacher. I had a lot of people ask me, are you a pastor? I'm like, nah, I can't do that because my mouth is too bad. And that's not my calling anyway. And with all my stuff, there's like, but, but, but the best part of the best part that when you realize that God is real is that the creator of everything, everything loves you and Jesus is real and the Holy Spirit is real and the devil is real and hell is real and it ain't nowhere you want to go. You got a 50-year plan? Do you have a 100-year plan? No, you don't. You have a 60-year plan that you don't even really acknowledge because all you think is retirement. So, like, you think hypothetically, assuming you live that long, that, and ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins and accept the Lord today because if you die in your sin, you're, you're going to hell. And I will say that because that's a fact. That's, that's what God tells us. I'm not saying you're going there. I'm just telling you what the outcome will be. And that's not a hypothetical. That's not. That's a fact. And I work my salvation out with fear and trembling every day. Um, but I felt like giving up and just going like on a three-day bipolar meltdown 
and then I remember who I'm doing this for. You got some heat on? Oh, she's trying to get up. Let me move the gun. She's trying to get up on me. She's been going up here lately. You want to get up in? Girl, you gonna be by the heat. That's real pretty girl. That's real pretty girl. But people want cars, a wife, or this or that. I would like a wife, but I don't need a wife. I would like a lot of things. I don't mean I need it. The only thing I need is God, and I got you know my my cats. I need my cats. I also want my cats, but I need my cats. And the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, that's all I need. A want and a need is different. But um, in most cases, but. Uh, still can't find this dad on the remote. Let's find a remote, man. I'm about to get mad. I don't want to make this video too long. Got draws on the floor. Honey, where did daddy put the remote, sweetness? Oh, there's a pen, y'all. You know? I've been trying to find a pen that, that I never use because no, I'm not using a pen. I got a pen on there. Okay. What's up, Eno? Oh, maybe. I didn't forget about him. How could it, this could never happen? But my whole life I've had my cats and I love my cats and that's all I've ever um, needed and wanted is my cats. And so all this, all my struggle even now, Harley Quinn and Joker are worth it. And that's, and God knows that. And, um, so y'all need to be thanking God on a daily basis. I thank God probably about a hundred times a day. I pray over my food probably three or four times. And I told God, like, I can't always talk because of my stuff. So I say, I'll just talk to you in my mind, and, and we're, we're good with that. Yo, where is this remote, dog? See, this is going to bother my, my, my stuff, guys. I can't find my remote. Oh, my TV fell out of pawn, but it was like from 2015. And um, I'm going to wrap this video up, but it was from 2015. And I can get, you can get it, I can get it like a, a smart TV like that, like a way nicer TV. Uh, well, that's, it was just pause on that part, but sorry about that. See, ADHD, y'all. I didn't even see. I didn't think about. It, I just did it. But um, I'm mounted. Uh. Oh my gosh. Y'all look at this. Why I got this in my hand for? Oh, it might be over here, y'all. Boxes. Let me put this box down for them. Here you go, baby girl. Get you a box. Box right here. Let's get some birthday boxes for Joker. Let's put a box over here just for the heck of it. And we'll put this box up here. She'd be going in here too. It's funny. It's so cute. But um, let me brush my teeth up right quick. I need to get in the bathtub, but I'll be I'll be washing up though. See, this is what it's like when you got a million things going on in your mind. I, if I think to do something, I got to do it. Because if I don't do it, then I'll forget. And if I forget, I won't get it done. Oh, but I got my, my, light, my light bill to the end of the month. So, um, draws on here. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Yo, I'll probably put the remote in the room in here, I bet you. I bet you it's on the floor. Oh, what are my eye drops doing in here? My wallet. Look at oh, there's condoms right there, y'all. Alright, well, I didn't set it there. They, but look at this. Look at this, y'all. It's been like this for God knows how long. See the way I roll? I've been like this from day one. There ain't no way you could ever say I'm fake. I don't care if somebody says it anyway, because you know, don't worry about what somebody's saying. You know you, you know you, and you good. You ain't gotta worry, you ain't gotta get no approval from nobody but God. So 
somebody want to say some derogatory stuff, then they they just letting you know that they ain't somebody that you need to be associated with because they ain't got nothing to offer. Oh, look at this, y'all. I got to start rocking this more. It's just a hot shirt, so I got to... But see, I be getting constipated and medicine and pain and then my blood pressure. And then I have to go to the bathroom and I got to be forgetting. That's why I don't be wearing it as much. But I'll probably put it up in the background, like hang it up on the hanger or something. But it does it does elicit a response by most people. They at least look at it, if nothing else, usually. So that's, that's awesome. But that's going to be the video, y'all. I just wanted to say that because we don't know what forever is. We say forever, but, like, that's not forever. That's just temporary. And the Bible tells us our time on this earth is short. And God's time compared to our time is not the same at all. It's like three days is a thousand days, and a thousand days is three days or something like that. So forever is heaven and hell, y'all. So I just want to leave y'all with that. If you want to support the channel, you can um, donate to the Cash App, the Patreon. I'm going to get that going, too, with some stuff on it. If you want, It's a, a dollar for access to my, my Carnageous Wild Market, which I got that going. I keep my Discord stream up right here with my Margo buying and sold for 26k. Hooray! But I keep my Discord market up here on this stream, right here. And that's my name, Carnegie's Wow Market. So if you want to um, see the stuff I have on this computer, you can go there. And then if you want to see it on my main computer, which is Carnegie's, you can go on there. Um, I'm gonna start leaving my, my contact info, my email, uh, which I'll, I'm gonna figure out a way to get my notifications to come up, just like my streaming stuff. But I'll leave my, my number is 502 uh, 5480276. So if you need to talk, especially if you're at a point of removal or anything, I've been there since three years old. And if my mom would have been gone, I would have been gone right with her. And I, it wouldn't even have mattered the consequence. And that's, that's again, that's. That's not, I'm, I'm, I'm putting trust, ultimate trust in my mom, like she's Jesus and my mom is a sinner. So, don't do that, it, you know. That's putting idolatry and stuff, and even though it's your mom, it's understandable, but she's not Jesus, she's not God, so. Um, I hope that helps somebody. Um, the cash app is Carnageous with a K, K A R. Actually, I'll just leave the link in the stuff. Um, yeah, if you want to support the channel, um, you can. That'd be much appreciated. Or if anything, just like the video because it help more people see it. Um, oh, she's got her baby. Let's see if we can get her playing with her baby. This is rare footage. Uh oh. Get it, Harley. Get that baby. No, not your waters, little girl. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't have said nothing. All right, y'all. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Y'all already know what my my skin is. Super light. We out of here.